Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 40 in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'm going to do a story problem here, and this is going to be a story problem that deals with uniform motion. Uniform motion is motion that doesn't change speed. And so basically, we have a train that leaves a train station traveling at 45 miles per hour. Then two hours later, a second train which is traveling the same direction as the first leaves the train station and it's traveling a little bit faster it's traveling 50 miles per hour so the question is what distance do the trains travel when the second train catches up with the first so here we have d equals rt distance is equal to rate times time and this will be the equation that we'll use to solve this question so basically we need to figure out what our rates, what our times are, and then we can find the distance. So I'm going to explicitly rewrite this equation here. And basically what I mean is I'm going to say that, okay, in general, the distance is equal to rate times time. So I'm going to be explicit and say that the distance d1 is going to be the distance that train 1 travels is equal to r1 t1. So the distance that train 1 travels is equal to the rate that train 1 is traveling multiplied by the time that train 1 has traveled. And then we can also say in an explicit form here, d2, the distance train 2 has traveled, is equal to the rate that train 2 is traveling multiplied by the time that train 2 has traveled. So when we want to figure out what distance the trains travel when the second train catches up with the first, we need to realize that the distance will be the same for both trains at that point. When they're both the same distance from the train station, they've caught up with each other, and so therefore at that point in time, the distance train 1 has traveled is equal to the distance that train 2 has traveled. So that's going to be the situation we're looking at when d1 is equal to d2 is when this happens. And since I explicitly made these statements here, we can simply replace D1 with R1T1 and D2 with R2T2. So let's go ahead and do that now. Instead of D1, we'll write R1T1. So right here, this changes to R1T1 is equal to D2, which we said was R2T2. And we know what R1 is. We know what R2 is. Those were given in the problem. But we need to figure out how we can write these two times with a variable that kind of can relate to both. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's just pick and say that t1 is going to be equal to x. So x equals the amount of time that train 1 has traveled. And then we'll say that t2 is equal to x minus 2. So why did I choose x minus 2? Well, train 2 is basically traveling the same amount of time as train 1, that's the x, but then we have to take away the two hours that it was at the train station before it took off. So whatever the amount of time that train 1 has traveled, train 2 has traveled two hours less. So now let's go ahead and replace these two values where the t's are in this equation here. So this becomes r1, t1, we're saying is x, and that's equal to r2, and t2 is equal to x minus 2. And be careful to put these in parentheses here since we're multiplying r times the entire quantity of t, so the parentheses are important here. And so then we're just basically, we're going to plug in the values of r1 and r2. We said that train 1 was traveling at a rate of 45 miles per hour. So we're just going to put the number 45 here for r. So now we have 45x is equal to r2 was the rate of the second train. That was 50 miles per hour. So this becomes 50 multiplied by the quantity of x minus 2. So now we've got an algebraic equation here to solve. So we'll just rewrite the 45x here. And then that's equal to 50 distributed into the parentheses here. 50 times x is 50x minus... 50 times 2 is 100. And then I'm going to subtract 50x from both sides. 
And 45x minus 50x gives us a negative 5x. And 50x minus 50x is 0, leaving us with negative 100. So then just dividing each side by a negative 5 here. The negative 5 and the negative 5 cancel. Negative and negative cancel. So then we just have x is equal to 100 divided by 5. 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. So let me just probably rewrite this here so it's a little more clear. So x is equal to 20. And we said that x was equal to the amount of time that train 1 has traveled, t1. So that means that we have the total amount of time that train 1 has traveled. Let's go ahead and put hours there so it's clear. Since we're dealing with miles per hour, this will be 20 hours. That is equal to the time that train 1 has traveled when the two trains catch up. And we know that because we set the distances equal to each other. So we know that the trains are at the same distance when train 1 has traveled 20 hours. So what about train 2? How much time has it traveled to get to that distance? Well, train 2 has traveled the same amount of hours minus the 2 hours that it was stuck at the train station. So this would end up just being 20 minus 2. 20 hours minus the 2 hours that it waited was, would be 18. 20 minus 2 is 18. So the time that train 2 has traveled to get to the distance where train 2 catches up to train 1 would be 18 hours. Train 2 has traveled 18 hours. So now we just need to figure out what distance the two trains have traveled to have train 2 catch up to train 1. So we can simply just plug into either one of these two equations to find that. So let's go ahead and do both to show you that it's both going to be the same. So the distance when they catch up now, d1, since we're finding the distance that d1 equals d2, then we can do it two different ways here. So d1 is going to be equal to r1 t1 and d2 is r2 t2. So r1 is the rate that train 1 is traveling which was 45 miles per hour. t1 was the time that train 1 was, had traveled and that's 20 hours. r2 is the rate that train 2 has traveled which was 50 miles per hour. T2, the time that train 2 has traveled, 18 hours. And we find that the distance where the train 2 catches up to train 1 is equal in both cases. In both cases, this equals 900. So 45 times 20 is 900, 50 times 18 is 900. And we find that the trains have traveled 900 miles when train 2 caught up to train 1. And here's the corresponding hours that they traveled to get that distance. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. Stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra series. We'll see you next time, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.